Whoa, you're playing in the 370, dude? What? First, I know why bros clicked on this video, but you're gonna have to wait just a little bit. It's not clickbait, it's actually really cool. But right now, we're gonna go ahead and pick up Alex, and then we're gonna go to Cars and Coffee. Don't worry though, I won't be there for that long, and I'm not gonna record that much. And you guys are also gonna see an oil change. Yeah, bro, she's getting old. <laughs> Also, before we get started with the video, it's been exactly one week since I've had the springs. This is what they look like. They're sitting a little bit lower than when I first installed them. There's you guys can see the rear. But don't worry, probably next video I'm gonna do a full review on the springs, if you should buy them or not, and all those things. So we're finally cars and coffee. Let's see what there is. Can I just go through here? I'm just gonna go through here. Where did I park last time? Right there. So instead of going to the Starbucks, then the Cars and Coffee, we actually parked the Cars and Coffee. Now we have to walk to the Starbucks. Great. <laughs> to be honest with you guys, I don't even feel like coming to Cars and Coffee anymore. Twin Turbo Mustang right here, bro. Twin Turbo Mustang. Just a little shout out to Cars and Coffee for you, bro. There's not that, there's not that many people today. Okay, I'm not really recording many cars here, but I have to get this for you, bros. And the F40. Oh my goodness, that looks so nice. That looks so beautiful. Okay, bro, so right now there's a bunch of really extremely fast cars. There's like a 750 horsepower, 350, just a bunch of crazy cars. I think they're gonna race and I'm gonna try to record it for you guys. That's them over there. Oh my god! Then an M4, then a 350. Up there we have a twin turbo 350 and uh, a turbo 350 actually. He's gonna get his girlfriend. And up there we also have a twin turbo V8. So. Oh, shit. Z06. And I think there's like a 2016 Z06. There's the M4. Oh, 
What I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna pass my autos in real quick and so I can return the spring compressors, which it's been like a week since I have since I've had them for like a week. And we're also gonna buy oil for the car. Then I'm gonna go home and then later on we're gonna do the oil change. I'm not gonna record the oil change too much, I'm just gonna go right to where I clicked on this video. Which is how you can play video games on this little screen right here. Auto zone. Mobile one, 5W30, fully synthetic. Okay guys, so after all that craziness and going to AutoZone, finally we're home. You guys honestly have no idea how happy I am to be home. That was super exciting though. Let me know in the comments below if you guys liked that. But enough talking, I'm gonna go inside, eat, rest a little bit, then call Alex so we can do the ocean change and show you guys why you clicked on this video. First we gotta find an extension. As you guys can see right there is my stuck muffler. So we got the extension from there. Okay, so let us walk you guys through all this. And then at the very end, I'm gonna throw out an idea that might actually work. Okay, so as you guys can see, we just got everything connected. Let's put the ball in there. For this, we're actually using a PS2 because we used the PS3, but I don't know what happened. It didn't work. I was thinking maybe the PS3 is too advanced, although we use the same cables, but it didn't work. So if you have a PS2, you can do this. But when I'm done explaining it to you guys, I'm gonna tell you something you might be able to do. So if you bros have any Nissan from like 2009, 2010, I believe, and it has that navigation package. To be able to listen to music through the aux cord, as you can see, you need the red cable, white cable, and the yellow. So Alex told me he saw a video of a Maxima, and the guy was doing the same thing. So we tried on the 370, as you can see. Alex right now is playing Need for Speed Underground 2. Yeah, basically all you need to do is put the red cable, yellow, and white into the PS2. Then you put an aux right there, then yeah, you should be good. So I told you guys I had a really good idea. I'm not 100% sure this is gonna work. Some of you bros might wanna try it, but this is what I was thinking. Let's say for a second, you and your mom or brother or girlfriend, whatever, you guys are going on a road trip. It's like a five hour drive and your passenger's gonna be bored, right? What I was thinking is you can bring your laptop, just pick any movie. I was thinking you can find online for like $8 a cable that goes from HDMI that goes into your computer or laptop, whatever you wanna call it, into a three port cable, which is the red, white, and yellow. When you connect the HDMI into your laptop and the three port cable into the car, you might be able to watch the movie through a little screen. And I know what you're thinking, we can just watch the movie through the laptop or the phone. That's true, maybe you guys wanna watch it through a little window in the car. I don't know, I just think this is a really cool idea. Even if it's just for a PS2, I think maybe a GameCube might also work or something along those lines. I don't know, even though the game console needs to be plugged into the wall and you can't really drive while playing, I just thought it was something really cool that Alex showed me. So I wanted to share with you bros. If any of you have like an old gaming console and you have the navigation package, try it out and let me know how it goes. Now back to the car with Alex playing. Whoa, you're playing in the 370, dude? What? You're racing? No, just driving around. I think this will be really cool in. Let's say you guys are like working on the car and you get bored or you want to take a break. You can literally just play Need for Speed Underground or any game you want inside the car. So if you bros are working on the car and want to take a break, just why not play inside the car? That 350 is pretty stock and I heard that if you go like this, your car is going to be modded. So let's try it. That's much better. Imagine if we go like this in front of our cars. Dude, I got to try this. If that worked on the game, this has to work on my car. Hold on, give me a second, give me a second. It doesn't work. Well, so we're basically at the end of this video. I'm not gonna make the outro long. I want you guys to let me know what you enjoyed more. The I-75 racing with the other cars and chasing them, or you like what the video was about, which was playing it for Speed inside the 370. You made it this far until this video. Thank you so much. You're the reason why I make these videos. And your guys' support really pushes me to keep going. As always, don't forget to subscribe, share with your friends, like the video you enjoyed. Click the notification bell to know when I upload. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time on an even more epic video. Peace.